verse 6. Wherefore also it is contained in scripture, Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect, precious, and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. Now, do you know why they call Jesus the cornerstone? He's the, uh, he's the foundation. Yeah, that's close. That's it. In a building, the way they built years ago, after the foundation was laid, there was a cornerstone that the whole okay. building was built out from. That mm -hmm. gave them all their measurements, their navigation, everything that they had to lay out was based on that cornerstone. And also okay. remember this, this key component. Jesus was called to be a carpenter by trade. And if you could imagine why, because Jesus built us up right. in the most holy faith. Jesus is edifying us. So know that that is one of the reasons he builds in the natural, he reconstructs in the natural, he refurbishes in the natural. He repairs in the natural. He also does it. He's doing all that for us, making us completely whole. All right. Verse 7. Unto you, therefore, which believe, he is precious. But unto them which be disobedient, the stone which the builders disallowed, the same, is made the head of the corner and a stone of stumbling, a rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the word, being disobedient, whereunto also they were appointed. Now, what that means by him being a rock of offense, people who don't want him, people who don't want this walk with God, People who don't want to be told what to do, it's their way or the highway, it's I've got to be me. Well, guess what? Those are the ones that are offended when you bring Jesus up in the conversation. There's a man online that shared a prophetic dream God gave him, which I'm going to share with you guys later. And he is a preparedness person. His whole channel is based on preparedness in case of disasters, uh, problems, weather anomalies, whatever. And, uh, and what happened is he shared this dream. And he said, first of all, I am a born-again Christian. And God gave me this dream and I had to share it. It, 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 I had to, I was obligated to share this dream. He said, but I'm surprised at how many people were offended and told me this is a preparedness. You should leave your religious stuff out of it. People are offended. That's what I'm saying that to make a point. People are offended by the presence of the name of Jesus in a conversation. They're offended by the Ten Commandments. They're offended by the Bible. They're offended by the do's and don'ts. They're offended when you say that gay marriage is an abomination to God, according to the Bible. They're offended to hear that homosexuality is an abomination according to Leviticus. They're offended by all of that. They don't wanna hear the rights of everything, they want it their, their way. They want to do whatever comes to their mind to do. So because Jesus comes with stipulations, the relationship with God, the connection with God comes with stipulations. People do not want to hear it. And that's where we are in this day and age. It's getting worse and worse, darker and darker, colder and colder, because sin will abound. The love of many will wax cold. And there will come a time where people will, will, will stab you in the back and, and kick you to the curb and throw you under the bus. And think they did a good thing, baby, because you represent Christ. That means you are an enemy to the state. Don't be surprised when that day comes. 